To start up the cytometer, first check that there are at least two milliliters of water in the sip. Push the power button and wait. It will take the machine about 15 minutes to start up. After that, run DI water on fast. This should take about 10 minutes. Keep in mind that the cytometer fluidics has an opening of 70 micrometers for samples to flow through. It can clog if your cells clump or if you try to run large items. We highly recommend using the 70 micrometer mesh filter or cell strainer for all samples before running. Your professor can buy cell strainers or nylon mesh fabric. We keep some strainers on hand for sale in the RIC, but we only want to be a backup if you run out. Vortex your samples immediately before running them. The vortexer should always be on the bench that's not attached to the main bay bench, since vibration can negatively affect the instruments. Between samples, use a Kim wipe to wipe down the sip. If backwashing occurs, use a sample of media between your samples to reduce contamination. Tubes of fax clean solution and filtered water should be near the machine. Put at least two milliliters of the solution to run in a clean tube. On the computer, run the SIP clean function. It will prompt you to put on a tube of fax clean solution for five minutes and then DI water for five minutes. When finished, leave a note to the next user to specify what time the flush ended. On the computer, select Set Color Compensation directly under the Run button. Click on Preferences in the top right-hand corner. Choose from Instrument QC and select Load from Pair CP or Pair CP Psi 5.5, depending on the color you are using. Select Save. Exporting files includes several formats. Workspaces and templates can only be read using the same software and equipment. Templates are useful to share between lab members who run the same types and analyses. FCS files can be imported into most flow cytometry analysis programs. At a bare minimum, be sure to save your data in the workspace and be careful not to overwrite your data if you use the same workspace at a later time. The process for shutting down the machine is similar to the flush. Put at least two milliliters of fax clean solution to run in a clean tube. Run the SIP clean function as you did earlier. After that is finished, close the software and log out of Windows. Press the power button on the front of the cytometer once to initiate shutdown. This requires the water tube to be on the machine with at least two milliliters of water. Shutdown takes around 15 minutes. Once shutdown has started, you can leave. Before you leave, please fill out usage cards based on the time that you ran your actual samples. Do not include startup time, shutdown time, or the hourly flush time in your usage time. We only want your professor to pay for the time that you ran your samples, not everything else. Drop the card in the box on the way out of the rig.